today we are playing Barbie Dream House Adventures. Welcome to the Dream House! So there are a lot of new things that have been added to the Dream House since the last time we played. So let's go inside and take a look. Starting with the bathroom. That's right, they have added a whole bathroom with lots of things to do. So we're gonna take a quick look at that. It looks like we have a few friends already in the bathroom ready to get a makeover because now our dolls, or characters, <laughs> they're not dolls, they can take a bath. Yep, go ahead, get into the bathtub. They wear their bathing suit in the bathtub. And then we have bath bombs so we can turn the water different colors and have bubbles to play with. So let's try this one. Put it, ooh, I might need to add water to the tub first. So let's add some water and into the bathtub. Come on, there we go, I did it. Put the bath bomb in there and it's all purple bubbles. So Teresa is chilling in a bathtub full of purple fuzzy bubbles. And we can play with those bubbles. We can use them to make crazy looks on Teresa. Here, come on, sit up, sit up Teresa, we gotta do this, here we go. Yay! She's got bunny ears! <laughs> How cool is that? Let's give her a puppy. Um, let's see, here you go. Into the bathtub, the puppy goes, and we can put the bubbles on the puppy as well and turn the puppy into a cat, because that's not weird. Then we take the puppy out of the bathtub, and Teresa's out of the bathtub. Let's give her a towel right quick. It went to her head, so okay, that works, So, because her hair was wet. But let's take her over to the shower. Wait a minute, since we put the towel on, does that mean the bubbles are gone? It does. The bubbles are gone. What about the puppy? And can you put the towel on the puppy? No, I cannot use the towel on the puppy. Instead, I'm gonna have to take the puppy into the shower. So here we go, little puppy, into the shower, close it up, turn it on, and that will get rid of all of the bubbles for the little puppy. Take the puppy out of the shower, cause it's, you know, puppies don't need to take long showers. <laughs> Everybody knows that. There we go. And uh, that's that. So the tub is fun with the little fuzzy bubbles. And we have a salon chair now, so we can put the dolls the dolls. We can put the girl in the salon chair and it opens up a whole nother screen where we can style their hair. Each doll has hairstyles specific to them. So these are all of Teresa's looks. She can do that, a little short number with a little braid in front. She can do a braid on the side. She can wear her usual look, maybe part of it up. Plus we got headbands and sunglasses and we can also color her hair and give her highlights. So a lot of the things from Barbie Fashion Closet have been brought over to Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you know what, I think Teresa looks good with her normal hair color, so I'm just gonna leave it like that and we'll let her have fun with the little updo. Yeah! Love the new do, Teresa! Now let's see what Nikki has. Let's give her a new do. So her hair is always up in these two little buns, but let's see what other styles we can do. Ooh, she could wear her braids out, love that. Or she could have a high top bun. Is that all we have? Yep, three styles. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the braids down. I kind of like that. And maybe we can give her some highlights. Mm, looking good, yeah! Now that our girls have their whole new look, let's head over into the bedroom and go to the closet because we need to get dressed because they're walking around in robes, and that's not cool. Look, everyone's walking around in a robe, and Teresa, well, she's walking around in her bathing suit because, you know, she was swimming earlier. So let's take them into the closet and get them dressed for the day. For Teresa, let's put her in which outfit? I'm kind of feeling that yellow checkered print. So yeah, let's go with that. That looks good for Teresa, and she needs a pair of shoes. I am all about tennis shoes and the dress, so I'm loving that look. Teresa is good to go. Barbie is next. Barbie's gotta wear her classic dress. This is adorable on her, I really do like this look. When I'm watching the show, she also has this black shirt that I love. There you go, it's this one. And she wears it with a pair of jeans. Uh, I'm thinking a lighter denim. Yeah, let's go with that. 
and a pair of sneakers. Love it! Oops, I just realized we did not do Barbie's hair. So we'll have to take care of that, you know, soon. Now it is Renee's turn to get dressed. Renee is adorable and she looks good in everything. Even Stacy's clothes, how cool is that? But I think we're gonna give her something with a little music. Oh, I like this. No, uh, uh, not really. Okay, yeah, this is classic Renee right here with a pair of jeans and all she needs is some sneakers. Mm, high tops, yellow, maybe? No, too bright. What about pink? I think those belong to Chelsea. Uh, yeah, no, those, yeah, let's go with those. Uh-oh, <laughs> Renee is still walking around with a towel as well on her head, so, wait. Oh, if we remove the towel, her hair is done. Let's see. Let's give the towel to Barbie and see if that quickly does her hair. Yes! Love it! Now everyone's ready to go play in the dream house. Traditionally on the show, Nikki is always found in this green dress. However, I'm thinking she's a little more chill. So let's go with something a little casual. I'm thinking this yellow top. I think it's adorable. And some jean shorts, love it. Some sneakers, cause you know, we love sneakers. And she is done. Now that everyone is finally dressed, let's head out into the garden. Because our Barbie dream house now has a backyard. And it's not a little backyard, it's a huge backyard. Look at that! When you first walk out of the dream house, you are on the deck and there are some chairs for the girls to sit in and a fire pit that you can turn on, which is a really, really fun feature. I love when things work. And there's a lot of interactive stuff in this game. As we get off the deck and go out into the yard, we see a huge flowering bed where I have been having a lot of fun planting strawberries. All you have to do is click on the little seed icon drag whatever you want to plant over to that area and it starts growing like that fast. You can grow fruits and vegetables, flowers, trees, and all kinds of stuff. It's like a really, really fun, fun backyard experience. So in this large circle here, I'm gonna plant a tree. Let's plant a lemon tree because I like my lemons. They go really, really good with tea. So we're gonna plant a little lemon tree there. And if I want it to grow faster, I'm gonna use some fertilizer. And that should make it grow a little faster. Yeah, yeah, it grew a lot faster. Maybe I can also water it. Let's see, does watering help it to grow? I mean, it usually does. And my strawberries are already growing, so let's water those. They go from the flower and then eventually it will turn into the berry. I think that's really, really cool how they added all these different levels to this game. Oh, my strawberries are looking really good. Love it! Inside of your shed is where you'll find all your tools, like your seeds, your flowers, and your trees. So that's an easy place to go and check that out. Um, I have to finish my back row. I don't have everything planted, so let's plant a few more things over here. I'm putting vegetables on the back row. I already got some tomatoes. Let's try some bell peppers. Maybe we would like a little cabbage. Yes, cabbage is good. How about, oh, I accidentally harvested my strawberry. I, I did not mean to do that. Uh, what about some broccoli? Let's grow some broccoli and then on the very end for symmetry, let's add uh, more tomatoes. Hey, I'm planting vegetables and Renee is over here asking for popsicles. Girly, you need some strawberries. She took my bag of strawberries, my seeds. All right, give me those, Renee. No, you're, I'm trying to help you out and you're accidentally making me harvest my berries. I'm not ready yet. There we go. Okay, everything is planted. My entire bed is looking good. So we have a new spot right here. Let's plant a tree. Let's go with an orange tree this time. Love it. We're gonna give that a little time to grow. And here is a large playground. So that's cool. Let's see, can Chelsea have fun on the playground? Uh, I can't get Chelsea to go down the slide. Maybe if I tap it, 
No, not yet. Okay, so maybe this is for the puppies. Cause I see a dog bone on there. Let's see if we can get the puppies to have fun with this. Here we go. Puppy, oh yeah, see? This is for the puppies. That puppy laid down and went right to sleep. And we can get the puppy to go down the slide. <laughs> see its face, it was like having the time of its life. Then we can get the puppy to go, where else? Can you go on the stairs? Yeah, so this is a giant play area for the puppies. That is pretty cool. I like that. We have another planting area, so you know we gotta plant something. Let's plant uh, apples. Apple tree, sounds good to me. And as we travel in our backyard, we come to a large open area that has a water feature. Barbie, come on over here and explore this. So apparently she can go into the water. She can sit on a cushion. Can you sit on the cushion? Yes, she can sit on the cushion. And she can stand on the little pavement, little stepping stones. So that's pretty cool. Here are some trees that I planted earlier. They're not looking so good. So if you take too long to harvest your fruit, it does go bad. So my fruit looks pretty bad. Uh, it says water. Maybe if I water it, will it come back? So let's see. Can we just... I don't want to harvest it. I want to water it. Where is my watering can? Ah, uh, never mind. I just harvested my fruits. So, okay. So if you let your fruits sit too long, it goes bad. Oh, there is a swing. That's right. We have a tree with a swing in it. I think that's adorable. I love it. It's super cute. And can the dolls use it? Yes! She can sit on the swing and she can swing! <laughs> I love all these little things. This is so much fun. All right, can you swing more? Can you swing more? No, she's, she's like, I'm only going one pace. What about a friend? Can we get a friend to push you? Here, Renee, stand in the back. No, they, okay, so you have to do all the work for yourself. There is no helping out here, do your own swinging. And as we go along, we have another flower area where we can plant things and harvest them. So we have tulips that are planted here and we have some other plant there. <laughs> I, think the, I think that was a lavender, I'm not sure. But we're gonna plant some more. So let's plant some tulips. Let's plant some lavender and let's plant some more tulips and wait for those to grow. Then at the very end, we have a large gazebo. I believe our friends can come over here and sit in the gazebo. Can you sit down? Yes, they can sit down in the gazebo. And we have another tree at the very end. That is pretty cool. So right now we should go and check on our vegetables and see if they are ready. Our trees are still growing. They look like they could use a little bit of water. So let's give them a little bit of water. And we know fertilizer will help them grow. So let's give it a little fertilizer. And that makes our tree grow a little faster. Not all the way, but faster. It looks like all of our fruits and vegetables are ready to harvest. So all we have to do is tap on the little basket and they go into some little random icon in the middle of the video game universe. It's probably my kitchen, but I haven't explored that part yet. Yay, I'm just harvesting all the strawberries. They like strawberry shortcake. If gardening was only this easy, I have, you know, no green thumb whatsoever. But in my Dollyverse video game, I am really good at this. I'm a pro, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. Let's go inside the house. I gotta find out where all of our fruits and vegetables went. So I'm thinking they're in the kitchen somewhere. Here is my very undecorated kitchen. And there is a large basket of fruits and vegetables. And that must be everything that we had in the garden. So we're gonna tap on that icon and it opens up a little inventory. You can see everything that we've harvested. Wow, we have 37 strawberries. So we're gonna move those to the counter. And now that we have our strawberries on the counter, maybe we can make something. So I'm gonna look in my drawers. Here's a tray, that'll work. And I think we need some dough. Um, do I have any already made? 
Doesn't look like I have dough made, so I'm gonna have to make some. Let's get some flour out of the pantry and put that into the mixer. Uh, what else do we need? Probably, uh, I'm, oh, that's it. All we needed was flour. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Easiest recipe ever. So I'm gonna take my dough and put it on the tray. And what happens if I put my strawberries in there? <gasps> I made a strawberry pie! I made a strawberry pie! <laughs> Love it! So you can cook with the vegetables that you grow in your garden. I think that's amazing. Is there anything else that we made? Because I'm excited about this. Alright, let's get some more strawberries on the counter and see what other strawberry recipes we can come up with. Oh, before we do, it looks like we have a prize. Let's see, click our icon in the corner to see what our prize is. And we got green. Oh, it's paint. Yes, green paint to decorate our kitchen. And that is what our green paint looks like if we painted our kitchen green. Okay, I'm not mad about that. Let's open up our drawer and I think I saw a muffin pan right here. All right, so we have a muffin pan. Can we just put the strawberries in the muffin pan? No. All right, we have to do something else other than just stick the strawberries in the muffin pan. So we're missing an element. Maybe we could use, what is this? No, what is, what is this, sugar? All right, I put sugar in the mixer. What, what is that gonna give me? If I put sugar in the mixer. It makes icing, gotcha. Okay, sugar in the mixing thing makes icing that I cannot use on my pie. What about if I put strawberries in the mixer? Nope, can't do that. Can I put more flour in the mixer? Because if I'm trying to make muffins or cupcakes, what about an egg? Do we need to put an egg in there? No, apparently all you need is flour. So let's see, can we put flour in the baking dish? I can! And I make cupcakes or muffins, something of that nature. Can I put strawberries on it? No, I cannot put strawberries on it. What about the icing? But I can ice them, yes, okay. So I just made some cupcakes with icing. I was trying to make strawberry cupcakes, but it won't let me do that. And all my cupcakes are iced. Here's my tray of cupcakes. And can I put strawberries on it now? No. It won't let me put fruit on my cupcakes. <sighs> all right, chill, just relax. So, but hey, I was able to make the little strawberry pie tart thing, and I'm very proud of that. So we should probably call it a day right there because cooking is not my strong suit. Apparently not even in video games. But there is no reason those cupcakes should go to waste. We have four friends and four cupcakes. So can we give each one of them a cupcake? Here we go, one cupcake for you, one for you Barbie and Renee. And yes, everyone has a cupcake made by me. <sighs> Thank you for joining us for this episode of Barbie Dream House Adventures. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!